Oh, baby. Give me some boulders. Let me see some boulders. Libre versus Bryson. Okay, something I was not expecting. I'm gonna move this mic away from my mouth for a second. Alright everyone, as you know, if there's ever a Libre in any of the matches, you gotta have a Spanish commentary. <laughs> so we don't have one. <laughs> we can already see Sir Salty being super aggressive against Utah right now. I don't think, um, I don't think Utah's doing a very good job right now. He does look like he's struggling quite a lot trying to use the double team to get through that fire spin. No such lucky Moga will come out and it will allow Salty to get a capitalization off of that. With a big old A. <laughs> Ooh, and the grab comes out. Brighton is just wrecking right now. Sir Salty doing massive amounts of damage. Almost a straight up perfect. <laughs> you have to Everybody knows you double team in the fire. <laughs> Once again, beautiful job from Sir Salty. He does miss the boomerang. Nice job, just getting a little bewitched on us. ¿Qué es eso? Ese daño es menos con Utah. Wait, oh, un combo. Ese es el damage. And el daño, mucho daño. ¿Qué? Salty comes back with a nice attack. A little bit of damage coming onto him. But the burst will come out. Can Utah stall himself in the air long enough? He just almost barely does it. Ah, uh, put a spell on. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there gotta be something cutey when you do it with, uh, with Bryson. Alright, so we are seeing a lot of spacing coming out right now for Sir Salty. Just barely being able to get that into him, uh, some damage. Tries to get the, uh... Nice job avoiding that grab. That's something that Sir Salty does so well. Um, he waits for that right opportune moment to really get... Um, like, he'll bait people into thinking, Oh yeah, yo, totally, you can get a grab right now. But no, he's actually found a way to get a little bit past that. So great job from Sir Salty. It does look like we might be getting a character switch here. I'm not just sure. I'm not sure just yet. Let me say my name. I heard it. It's like... Oh man, this weekly, this monthly is packed. So many Smash players. Ah... Alright, Utah deciding. Taking a little while. I'm gonna take a bite while he waits. Fuck <laughs> it. All right, game number two. Sir Salty taking the lead so far in one. Oh, looks like Utah is deciding to go Cardiboire for this time. I kind of agree with this decision. I think it's a smarter option. All right, just being a little bewitched onto that. Kind of set him off in a bad position. Nice job from Utah. He almost gets the punish for it. Tries to teleport behind for Sir Salty, but no such lucky mo is going to come out. Gonna knock him into a nice little combo that Sir Salty loves to do. He actually decides to push him up against the wall this time. That's gonna help with racking up a little bit more first. <laughs> Pachirisu doing absolutely nothing in that situation. Pachirisu is really, really similar to Rotom. Uh, it's kind of the great betrayer. And if you think, oh yeah, you're totally safe. No, you're not. You never will be. Ooh, and there it goes, Sir Salty being really dominant in this second round. Oh, the first round of game two. Round two. 
Crocodile really struggling to try and find himself right now. He's gonna go on a walkabout. <laughs> Ooh, just barely whips the grab. He's gonna get punished on his own. Whips that dive kick again. Uh, Utah, definitely one of those people that loves to do that dive kick. And it has served him pretty well. Nice little laser beam coming out for himself. Man, Sir Salty loves to rack that up. And I don't know what he got hit with. I, <laughs> I just saw the fire blast come out. Should be a charge RP. Anyway. <laughs> nice little boomerang. Sets himself up for something else. Right into a Mulga. Gets the nice, gets the Mulga support. Ooh, if Utah's going to hold on, he's going to need to burst right now. He does opt for it. Sir Salty probably going to respond in kind. Yep, here we go. Gets knocked down, but they're both at speed debuff. Both players just being a little careful about how they approach. Ooh, nice job from Utah. He's going to come right down on top of Sir Salty. He's going to get big damage. Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Into the air. Anime. Waifu. Cannon. Big damage. Coming on. Ooh, counters through it. He's going to get it. Nice job from Utah. I'm going to turn down the volume just a little bit as I see I peeked in here. Alright, that, that looks a little bit better. I'm not getting that static. Nice job from Utah. He just kind of tries to land safely. Doesn't work for him. That boomerang's going to come in pretty hot. Nice counter trying to go through that. Ooh, beautiful counter on the Sir Salty. Looks like Utah's finally getting that uh, assertiveness that he really wants to have down right now. Ooh, beautiful job from Sir Salty trying to change things up a little bit. Ooh, he's got a lot of pressure up against the wall. Oh, Utah is so close to getting his burst. He does finally have it now. He does get the dive kick into Pachirisu. Why he did that one, I don't know, but beautiful job jumping and avoiding that attack. Tries to go for the barrier, doesn't work. Sir Salty in a really good position right now. Utah is going to need to burst, otherwise he's going to lose his... Yeah, he does. <laughs> get what I'm saying. Ooh, nice job. Oh, here it comes. Will it beat it all? It does, but it doesn't quite hit in time. Right, he's gonna go for Carmella Dance and the dive misses and Sir Salty is so close! The counter through and there it is. Sir Salty's gonna take it 2-0 over Utah. The Huggies coming through, you know, you gotta love that. But great job from Sir Salty.